I want the largest salami pizza you got. Pizza Pop was a 1992 game published by Jalico. Oh, Jalico, it's a dialect thing. I'm calling it Jalico. <laughs> Jalico was a pretty remembered publisher and developer back when, usually remembered for subpar to average games, but they had a few games that were pretty decent with arcade games like City Connection, and a few games that are maybe considered gems to some. But overall, nothing that really became huge hits or franchises outside the possibility of the bases loaded game. They had like 20 of those, cause... Baseball. While being both a publisher and developer, Jalico often had games developed externally. And this game in particular was developed by Arc System Works, who is still in existence today, mostly known these days for the fighting game series Blast Blue and the Guilty Gear games, and they did a lot back in the day. While I don't think they developed too much for the Nintendo NES outside of games like Codename Viper and a few others, they did a lot of games like Battletoads on the Genesis, so it's interesting to see one of their earlier entries here. Still, this game was only released in Japan for the Famicom, so we never got it in the West. So Pizza Pop stars a character delivering pizzas trying to get a ring. A $10,000 fucking diamond ring. I got no money. Because I guess he thinks that would guarantee him some poon tank from this purple chick. I don't know, maybe try taking her out to get something to eat first, go to a movie. This is a dirty movie. Pepperoni. It's long. No, no, it's green. No, no, this, this is it's in my pants. We're going to show you the secret. All kinds of couples over here. The secret of the splooge. You hear about that? Yeah. Yeah, I shame all the time. That was my cock out, dude. I mean, I understand you're a weird, awkward ginger kid. Why does he look like freckle bitches and shit on the bottom? He looks like a freckle bitch. But maybe she's not that shallow, man. I mean, the good women usually aren't shallow. This, this is not so bad. It's Taking me to a place own. like this is about as exciting to me as saying, let's fuck. But who knows? I for you, Betsy. Unfortunately, I'm going to assume this kid is working for his dad, though. Shut the fuck up and get back to work! Hey. And that sucks, he demands way too much from you, and I'm sure he's paying you slave labor prices, and you're really just gonna make tips here. I really can't read Japanese, but I assume he's saying your rages are going towards college, but I have reason to believe this mofo has a gambling problem and likes to buy coke and hookers on the weekends. I mean, this guy's obviously trying to cut costs here, because he can't even afford fucking pizza boxes. So it doesn't take long for me to realize this is a pretty fucked situation, if you ask me. I mean, the father, when he asks you to deliver pizza to the shadiest parts of town, are the most fucked up conditions that most pizza delivery people would say hell no to. Oh, hell no! I mean, pizza delivery can be a dangerous, shady jab, but this is abuse and outright negligence. Dude, I'm not fucking delivering pizzas in this neighborhood ever again. Look at this shit. Fuck your pizza. You want pizza? Come and get it. But anything for Poon Tank, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it, but... So let's start at the beginning. Pizza Pop. Pizza Pops? Is that an exclamation point? No, it's not an S. It's actually called Pizza Pop. It's a weird title, honestly. It's like, okay, Pizza Pop, what is this, like a Papa John's thing? I mean, I know Pop can mean many things. A lot of things go pop. Pop goes to Weasel. Pop goes to Enemy. Her tits might pop. These graphics pop. Sody pop. But again, my theory is you're working for your pop, and it's his pizza place. Look at my shit! Look at all my shit! This is it, y'all! This is it! Oh, okay, Pizza Pop. Single player twin play. I would rather fuck around with twins, but... So level 1, aka your first delivery, you're in this very, uh, active neighborhood. Your main concern is crazy domestic feral cats and dogs. But there's other color for folks like, uh, dudes throwing trash over walls, nearly missing this hula hooping girl, but she don't give a shit. Dude, why is that guy throwing trash so close to the hula hoop girl? Don't you worry about it, bitch! There's also Mexicans working out with uh, shake weights, listening to tunes, uh, usually solo, but sometimes they're in pairs. Again, maybe they're not Mexican, but when they're together, they sort of look like the Mexican brothers to me. Just jamming out and working out, while all this chaos around Mr. Pizza Delivery Man goes on. Your main weapon is a pizza oven spatula thing that you somehow keep on your person. I guess these are traditionally called a peel, but that's stupid. I'm gonna keep calling it pizza oven spatula thing. Where he keeps this, I don't know, but I'll give it a pass because video games, and it's pretty comical and very cartoony, much like how old cartoon characters could simply pull out a giant hammer out of their ass out of nowhere back in the day. However, it's really hard to hit things till you get used to it. You really have to hit deep inside these enemies' hitbox, which means you have to get close. It's a bit unnatural and you're gonna take damage trying this at first, but at the end of the day, the best thing is really avoidance. Now, you can run in this game after holding right for a few seconds, but you will tire out and be left open while you catch your breath. You can avoid this by jumping and that will keep your speed up regardless. In the game, there's these balloons, okay. All balloons either have one of two items, except for one rare case where there's actually an extra life on stage 3. But otherwise, you either get a much needed heart, which is great because you're only given three at the start, and after death, so these are important. The other items is pizza, it's like, really man, I'm fucking delivering pizzas, man, why the fuck are the pizzas all around? Much less than floating fucking balloons, how does that make sense? Yes, video games 
make it possible, but I'm not giving this a pass. Like, hey, can I order a pizza? It's like, no, bitch, is there fucking balloons around you? Yes, in your neighborhood. Yes, we'll go pop one. There's probably a pizza in them. You don't need my fucking pizzas. It doesn't even have a box. It looks like a football, and this thing's gonna be dirty as fuck when it gets there. But I guess that's what makes Pizza Pop's pizza the best in town. It's that dirty, bloody, sweaty flavor. I mean, this is what a Pizza Pop pizza looks like. It's those special ingredients, the blood, the cat hair, dirt, and most importantly, it's all wet and saggy from various liquids. But thanks to video games, this is the high demand pizza. Okay, I'll roll with that, sure. I'll, I'd eat this, sure. Regardless, these pizzas are just points, so don't ever go out of your way for them. There's nothing random about the balloons, so learn where the hearts are, but like a game of whose line is it anyway, skip the points, they don't matter. The points don't matter, that's right, the points don't matter, just like a stripper's name. Again, the pizza oven spatula thing is awkward, but I found out quickly you can Mario enemies by jumping on them. So oh, you can jump on things! Alright, jump on the pussy. So that might be the way to go. Then you can simply scoop the enemies off the pavement or whatever, and simply hop on your way. I mean, just move along, you do have pizzas to deliver. These girls are hungry. Hungry for pizza. Eventually run into your adversary. Live fast, love hard, and don't let anybody else use your comb. This hipster fuck who I assume is from another pizza place, he really doesn't want you to make your deliveries. I guess he's the king of pussy and he sicks all the cats on you mid-stage before screwing off like a little bitch. You're past a hot dog place, which seems like a better place to work. I don't think they deliver, it's pickup only. I love the girl, she's so bored she's just sitting there fondling her breast. Her big luscious double A breast. She's beautiful. Now if you dicked around too much chasing pussy or dogs, you may realize this game has a timer, so in the future don't lollygag too much. Pound that pussy if you must, but move along. What are you sniffing out? What are you sniffing out? That's a good old flavor. Oh, you squirrely little dog. Not this fucking rival pizza guy asshole again. Oh, we're almost out of time! It's pizza time. After the pizza's delivered, I can only assume this guy's like, thanks for the pizza, here's your tip. Hello? Is this a phone? No, it's a calculator. Anyway, that better be like a $2,000 tip too, because I need to afford a fucking 10k ring, asshole. So uh, I need to average like $1,666.66 per delivery here, considering this game only has 6 levels. Actually, that's a lot of dough. This might not be such a bad gig after all. So you get another delivery call from this old mofo. He lives on Urban Bulge Boulevard and the front door is locked. Maybe this place is condemned. So it's to the roof. It's a vertical level and at first due to floaty jumps, you may be clipping through a few platforms if you're not used to the jumping yet. Oh, vertical levels. Really? How am I get? Mm. Yo, you're kidding me with this. On your way up through these barrels, you have to avoid Donkey Dong style, so take your time. There's a much needed heart, but don't lose one getting it. And can you see your rival once again? Fucking rival pizza fuck. Oh. Who doesn't want this delivery being made? You guys want to meet lovers? So you make it to the roof, and the rival who at this point isn't just trying to sabotage your delivery, no, he wants you fucking dead. He's trying to outright murder you. You're dead, you little son of a bitch! He's like, okay, cats didn't kill this guy, so out of the blue he just calls out this fat gangster mobster guy to ambush you. Oh shit! Dude, it's just pizza, man. It's just pizza, bro. I'm just a fucking delivery boy. That's messed up. You can hit him and he might drop items like pizzas or hearts, which again are the only items in the game, but that doesn't really hurt him. Turns out he's trying to kill you with his hat. I don't know what's up with enemies in video games trying to kill you with hats, but it's a thing. Enemies want to kill you with their fucking hats. That's what they do, man. Anyway, so that attack exposes his head and you just need to jump on him. Once I figured that out, it was easy peasy. I also later found out you can simply duck under his hat and then have a free hit, so that might be the way to go if jumping isn't your thing. Again, this fight was tough when I played it blind because you don't know what to do. Oh, I bet you we have to hit his hat back in his stupid face. I don't like this guy's face. And if you got messed up during the climbing part, you might only have a heart or two to experiment, and when you die, you go back to the start of the level. The fuck, dude. It's not that far back, but come on my face. Regardless, this was a good lesson to learn, because there's no checkpoints in this game, regardless of stage progression. So you deliver the old guy his Pizza Pop personal size pan pizza, which was a lot of work considering he had to climb to the roof and fight off gangsters. Oh, mama mia pizzeria, blow it out your ass. So back at Pizza Pop HQ, some construction guy calls and wants a Pizza Pop pizza. Cause yeah, he don't want any of that balloon pizza, he wants that Pizza Pop shit. So wow, this guy has mobile transportation, huh? It's a nice ride. Thanks, man. So you start off riding the scooter towards your destination, which is a pretty cool change of pace. It's kind of Turbo Tunnel-esque with hurdles coming out of nowhere that you must jump over or avoid. If you're going slower, maybe just go around them. But at full speed, you can get in the rhythm for jumping these things, and it's really not too tough. Oh, we're getting, we got the hang of this. We're getting the hang of it. What's that location? More crazy BS. Cement? 
It's too hazardous of a neighborhood. I'm sorry. Hey, dude. Just put the pizza on the hook, bro. Just put the pizza on the hook. It's not a bad stage at all, and it looks a lot more intimidating than it really is. Pizza time. Watch it, jerk. Hey, buddy! Oh, sorry. Anybody here order a pizza? Thanks, man. No problem. Well, I really appreciate it. That's, that means a lot to me, you know? Back at Pizza Pop HQ, you get the first of two mini games, and you get to see what a real asshole your pop really is. Fuck! Fucking little faggot friend Rudy take my shit! Did he? I mean, I guess it's the lunch rush, but fuck, man, just hand me the pizzas, dude. Shit. Why? Just hand them pizzas to me, you fucking ass. Just hand them to me. I don't like you. I'm right in front of you, man. Just hand them to me. Yeah. And you know every pizza you drop is coming out of your paycheck. It's your dime you're wasting. What a jerk. You have to just catch pizzas, and you can carry a lot, but only so many. But then you just hit a button to throw them in the oven. It's just a minor distraction. You don't earn hearts or lives or continues. It's just points, so there's not much motivation here other than not wanting to be a failure of a son. It's a bit awkward due to the acceleration of the main character and they'd have to land directly on or close to the plate that you're carrying. You can get a 1-up if you get every pizza, but yeah, good luck with that. Our next delivery is at another construction zone. I was just at the construction zone. No. No, I quit. But this one is high up. I hope you're not scared of heights. Again, this is nuts, man. These workers don't want to stop what they're doing and let you buy. They could care less about your well-being, despite the fact that you're trying to deliver a pizza to the foreman of the job site. How come I don't have a hard hat? But they don't give a shit if you die or the potential lawsuit here. Like, you know, can't you just say excuse me, fellows? I'm I'm gonna climb to the top of your fucking construction site. Fuck you, and, fuck and, you. And drop your boss off a pizza. We're working here. Excuse me. So, excuse me? Like, just fucking, can you excuse me, please? Fuck you, I'm gonna die, you Out of my way, sir. I'm delivering pizzas here. I work for my dad. Oh, nice, dude. Working for your dad's awesome. That really, he doesn't fucking pay me. He doesn't pay me. I tell my dad off, too, but I'm gonna have to, uh... He kicked my ass. He drinks a lot. You eventually bump into the asshole rival kid who has a new person trying to kill you. This guy, man, I mean, he sure knows a lot of people who must owe him a lot of favors. I like to suck big dicks. This boss is, uh, interesting. He spins so fast, I guess he becomes a carrot. Isn't this the guy I'm delivering the pizza to? Pizza. Oh shit! So you have to wait till he stops spinning in a corner until you can attack. You can seem to hit him like three or four times at first, but I don't think it matters. Just hit him until he makes an O face, because he clearly likes being spanked by this pizza oven spatula thing. It gets him off. When he gets a bit quicker, play it safe. Again, one hit is fine at this point. You don't want to get hit upside the head with a shovel. When you're gonna hit this kid over the head with a shovel, what kind of world does this game take place in? A fucked up one, yeah, that's right. Dude, you can't just go around hitting kids with shovels. You can't. You can't just go around hitting kids with shovels. There's like fucking laws against that shit. I think. There should be. I don't know. Maybe I should find out. Pizza? Yes. Back at headquarters, we have another delivery for a witch. Oh, here's a guy on the phone. It's a witch. A fucking witch. Look at her nose. Got bigger schnoz than me. Oh, I don't like the look of this. And of course, it's some creepy level featuring ghosts, atomic radioactive pumpkins. That's not generic at all. I mean, come on, where do you draw the line? Enough is enough. I'm not delivering pizzas to her. She lives in a neighborhood with spooky ghosts and shit. You're never gonna get this pussy. I don't wanna get this pussy. Okay, I'll do it. There's not much to say. We got death pits, ghosts you can jump on, well once anyway, which makes sense. Ghosts are usually pretty solid. It's messed up though that they cry. I don't want to make a ghost cry. I'm just here to deliver pizzas, man. <laughs> oh, I made the ghost cry. Well, you know... I don't give a fuck about... It'd be nice if they filled me hearts up. I think making ghosts cry isn't part of the job description. Why? Oh, there's a key. I need that key. Eventually you get to a part where you notice a key, which is like, really, this witch bitch isn't even gonna come to the door, let alone open it for me? Really? Lazy witch. Bitch. Because the witch is gonna be like, yo, let yourself in. Be like, I don't have the key to your house. Yo, it's back over there. You should have gotten it. Come on, ghost. Respawn. I would like to get the key. There's an issue here with the ghost. It's not totally uncommon for some NES games, but it really shouldn't have been a problem here. Often as the ghosts fly by, they won't come back, so you have to backtrack to make them respawn or they won't reappear. Jump off the second ghost if you want this key or you're gonna have a bad time. It looks like you would maybe hit the ghost or take damage, but no, you won't. Regardless, once in the house, more generic platforming. I like that there's a mirror with a reflection. It's a nice touch. Oh my god, there's a mirror with a gra- uh, Props. Props for that. 
very fancy. But I don't know why there's one way the hell up over here. Does Frankenstein's monster in a room here? Why would you put a mirror up there? Crazy witch. I'm not delivering that crazy bitch. Again, pizza delivery can be dangerous, but I really wish this witch bitch would have came to the door. I mean, instead of ordering pizza, maybe fix your fucking floors? Hmm? Huh? You can't even jump in the chair. That looks like a platform to me. God dang it. Back to the beginning? Oh, yeah. How about you? Fuck yourself. Eventually, you'll get to that freaking brat again. What, does this kid have free reign to go wherever he wants? What's he doing in this lady's house? Why does this kid hate me and my pizza so much? Pizza Pop is a small, independent, one-location stop. I don't see how we're in competition here. Greasy. Regardless, he summons, oh, Dracula. A purple count from Sesame Street looking Dracula looking mofo. With a huge snozz, I bet the ladies love that nose. Anyway, Dracula, guess I should have guessed that. Maybe that's why the mirror was so high, because vampires don't like mirrors. Anyway, Drac's main thing is turning into a bat coming towards you, and when he lands, you have to hit him quickly before he blows you with his cape or wings or whatever, which will blow you away from him. Regardless, every time you hit him, you make him cry. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, make me feel bad and shit. God, I don't need this shit in my life, man. I'm just some guy playing a game on Twitch and trying to live this piece of this rich bitch witch trying to buy this ring to give to some other bitch so we can get hitched. But I'm going through all this trouble and shit. My scooter broke and needs a new ignition switch. My fucking dick is itchy. I got the jock itch. And now you're gonna cry like a little bitch and try to make me feel bad? Well, go ahead and cry, you little purple Dracula looking motherfucker. I don't care anymore. I'm trying to just do my job. I'm trying to do my job. Again, I love how bosses and other things drop pizza constantly. If pizza is so abundant, I don't get why these people want this pizza pop pizza so bad. I'm starting to think pizza pops is really a drug front, because the tips are really, really good. Still, that's fucked up if I'm unknowingly running drugs for my dad. Nick, Nick, where the fuck you been? Out of the loop. Oh well, I guess you know what they say. Eggnant is blast. Eggnant is blast. Okay, here's your pizza lady. I like to eat the meat first. Next stage, we got some hottie who wants a pizza. Oh, here's a hottie. I don't mind delivering to her. Where the fuck does she live? I love how they cut off her profile just before the tits. Really? What a jet. That was such an irate gamer thing to say. Don't tell me she lives underwater and she's a mermaid. Turns out she needs it to be delivered to her on the beach. But to get there, we got broken bridges and shit. And you need to jump on fish to get across larger gaps by avoiding pogo stick guys. Now there's a fad I wish would come back. Pogo sticks. Hell, with today's technology, you could probably improve things and make this a good form of transportation. Also, the pink punk rock pussies are back. It's like punk is dead, man. Get over it. Leave me alone. Let me do my jab. You'll get to a jet ski part, which is, uh, cool. It's the world's smallest jet ski, though. I mean, I'm a small dude, but that's fine. It's cute. Much like before with the scooter stages, and that's too bad. Avoid fish and the rival pizza guy. But where's this guy keeping this pizza on this trip, though? Seriously, like, uh, where's he keeping it? A little up his butt, maybe? A little anal? Mm. Eventually, we make it to the beach, and oh my god, that rival punk summoned the world's biggest bulldog, who apparently spits out normal-sized bulldogs. I mean, he's so big, I guess normal bulldogs just live inside him, but, uh, this dog really wants to box. I mean, really, you're a bulldog, not a boxer, man. Maybe step it down a notch. So this guy's all bark and no bite. You can hit him and he might drop an item, but like many of the bosses, this game seems to alternate between ways to take out bosses, so it turns out he's just a jump-on-his-head boss. Where is this rival kid keep finding these guys, and why are so many of them animals? This guy can summon cats, fish, and dogs to do his bidding. It's like we got a little Dr. Doolittle mofo here. Anyway, you get the hot chick or pizza, well at least I think she's hot, I can't see the good bits. Before returning for another Rush Hour mini pizza game back at PPHQ before the final level we must deliver to a mystery guy. Oh gee, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> Set up. I smell a setup. So the final level is in some weird place without much going on, honestly, and it's another vertical level with barrels being thrown by the mystery guy. I mean, asshole rival guy. I love how it says keep safety here, like, oh, okay, yeah, keep safety, keep safety, okay, sure, I'll try. The second room has gears and stuff reminiscent of something you might see in clock tower type stages in a Castlevania game. Anyway, once you're through the top, you'll fight a robot. Really, a robot? Okay. Here's a tip though, speed through this level as fast as you can. Learn where the two hearts are on your way, but avoid the pizzas and other things as I strongly recommend getting to this boss with a good two minutes left, just in case you need to play it safe. I love the beeping sound. Yes, we're gonna run out of oh, time. Now I'm in a goddamn rush. The robot goes through like five cycles of attacks. First, he'll try to fist you. This is the best and easiest way to attack him by hitting the fist back at him, so it's important to nail this. Next, he'll spit out this fist. It will come at an angle. Avoid the first and then jump over it when it comes back. Or better yet, you can actually jump on it when it comes back and it will send it back towards him for another hit, which isn't too hard. Hit it. Thank you. 
Next, he'll do this slinky up and down thing. Just time it right and jump over him. Wait this one out. Next, he'll jump and these things will fall from the ceilings. If you can hit one back at him, then it can be a hit, but it's hit or miss. After that, he'll try to give you head. Why is everyone always trying to give me head? Even though it's kind of impossible, he's got a square hole. He needs to be have, have a round hole. Oh my god, I took that to the face. Maybe I can go whack him when his head's off. Get some pizza. Does pizza equal time? Is it like Ninja Turtles? Pizza time? But there's nothing you can really do here to hit him. Again, it's a long cycle of moves, and that's why you may need some time. Once the pink robot is defeated, though, it turns out he's just the asshole who's been messing with us through the whole game. Guess he finally gets up and decides not to murder us anymore, because he's called in all the favors he can, and now that we've defeated his pink robot, he must feel like he's out of options. But whatever, he better just have the decency to pay me for this pizza, man. That's all I care about, because at the end of the day, I'm just doing my motherfucking job. So it seems like he paid up because he finally have enough cash to go buy my love interest this ring. So we go to the jeweler and what? Sold out? The ring's not here? Oh fuck, no poon for us. But I guess Purple Chick's like, fuck that, I don't want no diamonds, you don't need to put a ring on it. You got 10k in your pocket, mofo, I'll suck that dick and we can still be friends. Oh, you got 10k, maybe buy me some clothes and shit, you know, that's all good, that's all fine. But then Rival Dickhead comes by and it looks like he's about to do a drive-by shooting or some shit. <laughs> But no, he just throws some flowers my way. Uh, okay, wait, 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 hmm, maybe this guy was just jealous this whole time, like maybe he wanted the chick, I think that's what the game is trying to say, but he threw the bouquet of roses to me, so uh, I think he wanted me. He thought this whole time if he could stop me from getting the poon, I'd notice him more. I mean, sometimes when someone's being mean to you, trying to murder you even, it just means they really like you, so I guess this guy wanted my ginger dick this whole time. Yeah, well fuck you, buddy, forget it, you crazy. I got a slash, gash, cut another hole in your ass. Spill blood on the walls, then play tennis with your balls. With the phone rings, don't answer the call. You gonna slit your throat, fuck you like a goat. Feel your foreskin off and make a winner coat. Peace. You crazy. So I just give the flowers to her. Anyway, I'm so happy this chick still wants to give me the time of day. She sees what I went through for the ring, and whether I got it or not, I'm still rolling in that dough, so she's cool with it. Who knows, maybe it would even work out between these two. I mean, sure, I'm a weird ginger kid, but maybe she ain't all that. I don't even know if she's cute. She's purple. Maybe she's having trouble breathing. So yay, jump in the air, roll credits, happy end. In conclusion, Pizza Pop is a game I have mixed feelings on. The first time you play it's a bit of a drag with levels that have no checkpoints and weird feelings controls, but it makes sense looking back on it. The levels are extremely short, really too short, and on top of its length it punishes you for looking around and exploring, so you need to do stages timely because there's a time limit. Which I guess makes sense because mofos do want their pizzas delivered fast, and honestly other than a stage or two there's really nothing much to look at, so whatever, fine, it's a very linear experience. Graphically it's okay, but I don't know, some things and items lack detail, being all the same color, which makes the game feel sort of cheap. There's no power-ups, the items are always hearts or pizzas except the two extra lives, there are two continues which is enough honestly, the minigame is meh, the music is not super annoying or bad, still looking at the credits it seemed there was one game designer, one programmer, two graphics designer including the famous King Joe, wait I never heard of that motherfucker, and one composer. So that being said, who knows what Jaleco's budget or time frame was for this project, so maybe it's a decent product and Jaleco got what they paid for. I'm not sad this didn't come to the states actually, despite not being a bad Famicom Japan only game, because I played a lot of Famicom stuff that I'm glad stayed over there. I, we know why this game didn't come out in, in, in Europe, because it's, it's got ninja in the t title. What the fuck? Oh my god. What are these things and why do I want them? Why do I want all these condoms? What are those? Fuck it, polka dot condoms? I like a lot of Famicom games, but then you come across these ones and you're like, okay. You could just stay over there in Japan. But again, this isn't one of those titles. Still, it was a late 1992 release that probably didn't need to make its way over here. Simply because the game just lacks the value of games that came out that year, like Bucky O'Hare, Felix the Cat, Darkwing Duck, Cowboy Kid. This game sucks dicks. Okay. Girls, Girls Quest, Kickmaster, and tons and tons of other games that came out that year. And it's nowhere near the quality of any of those games, not to mention the SNES and Genesis was out. Stop saying SNES! What the hell is that? It's S N E S! Woo! Fucking goddamn it, Lucius. All right, fine. The S E N E S. The S E N E S. S E N E S. As a Famicom game, it's a little weird looking. It came in this weird black elongated cartridge that seems bigger than most Famicom games, and for some reason, this game seems to go for a lot of money. Usually over fifty dollars, it seems, and often more complete in box. Considering Famicom games are usually cheaper than NES games, it's weird, and again, honestly, not worth it. It's worth playing, but at best, I think it will be an average experience for most. Again, once you get the game down and play through it once, subsequent playthrough should take you under twenty minutes. I actually think this game would be a great speedrun game, and it might be cool to see some people start running it. I'm sure you could get your time down to twelve minutes or even way 
play under. It's also worth mentioning that you don't need to know Japanese at all to play it, but again, it's just not worth the price tag for the experience. I really do appreciate the pizza delivery boy premise. I mean, I'm sure there's really not any other pizza delivery games other than this one. I mean, sure, Spider-Man on Game Boy Advance, I think, started off with delivering pizzas, which was great. Then there might be some pizza-themed games or games with pizza in them, like Yonoid, which some people like. But I think I'd rather play this than Yonoid, personally. Yes, better than Yonoid. You can actually get hit in this game. There's also a great Famicom game called Samurai Pizza Cats, which uh, I actually don't remember if there's pizza in the game. I don't know. It's been a while. This is the best NES game ever. Famicom. They had awesome games. But whatever. Still, if you really love pizza... Sloppy. I guess this game is a must-play. However, it may not inspire you to want to become a pizza delivery person. I mean, delivering pizzas can be tough, but I hope it's never as bad as depicted in this game. It's mainly because you're working for your asshole dads in bad parts of towns with guys who want to fuck you and kill you. And again, based on the tips you're getting, I actually believe you're delivering drugs here. So that being said, maybe don't turn down your pizza delivery dreams based off this video game. Do want some pizza. Want some pizza, badass. Uh, uh, I don't want to lose my job. Stop it. You're not going to lose your job. I'll give you a big tip. Okay, Anne Whitworth Chovy. Anne Chovy? Coincidence, isn't it? Since I do the hiring, I feel that I should check your references closely. Anyway, I gotta go order a pizza. Maybe you guys should go order a pizza. If you do, be sure to tip your delivery guy because he works hard for that money. So hard for that honey. That pale, white, purple haired honey. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh -huh. Yeah. Some, uh, can I get some blood, some cum, some cat hair, and some dirt on it, please? Yeah, okay, you got it, hot dog. Uh -huh. Yeah, extra dirty. Mm-hmm. No, I don't need a box. I don't need a fucking box. All right, you got it. Uh-huh. All right. Hurry up. Yeah, well, it's going to be a few minutes. We're just opening up. Huh? You want to change your order? You just placed your order. No. You got the new menu? We just sent them out. Can I get a dirty fucking cum stained fucking bloody ass red pizza, please? Yeah, that means something different. Hold the anchovy? No. All right, you got it. Okay. Uh-huh. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you would like to uh, watch more videos, there's a few more. Uh, fuck, that's so stupid. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I would especially like to thank my Patreon supporters who've been hanging out with me. This video took like the better part of a month, a lot longer than it was intended to be. Uh, all my Twitch uh, followers, if you want to follow me on Twitch, and uh, if you liked what you saw or whatever, feel free to subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's your uh, prerogative. But uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll uh, hopefully see you guys soon. Seeing all this money makes my pussy wet. Smell this shit. Smell this shit. It makes my tits look bigger. Woo! Go to MultiTap.com today! <laughs>